Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the homestead. I was blessed with a bunch of peppers this last weekend, the peppers last of the year. A friend from the farmer's market gave me a bag of nothing but sweet banana peppers, and a good neighbor of mine brought me a variety, including some jalapeno. So we're going to make sure we preserve these, and they do not go to waste. Here's what a jar looks like. We're putting them in pint jars today. I didn't think you wanted to watch me process all of them and chop all the peppers, so I kind of got a head start. All right, Miss Mouse, I have a kitty cat pestering me. Anyway, inside each pint jar, I'll let you see what I've got in the bottom here. I have a few cloves of garlic, do it to taste, a quarter teaspoon of salt, anything but iodized. This is a kosher, you can use canny. A quarter teaspoon of turmeric, and a little bit of pickle crisp. I'm going to pour a brine. I've got um, eight cups in here. No, I take it back, 12 cups in here. Half and half. Half of it is a white vinegar, half of it is water. You can use apple cider vinegar if you want. I like the white vinegar. That's what we're doing. At any rate, we're going to finish filling. I'm going to turn you so you can see better. All right, now you can see everything better. <clears throat> I've got, this one's almost full, working on a few more, but this is the end of our last batch, or our first batch, I'm sorry. Um, seven pints is all I'm probably going to get done this first go round. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how many peppers I actually have. I prepared 12 just in case. But I don't know if I'm going to have enough banana peppers. Anyway, I cut them, throw them in a bowl. Pro tip for you, do not throw that away. This is full of good stuff. All of these garlic peels, pieces of peppers. I'm going to be making a bone broth, a beef bone broth, really soon. And this is all going to go in the roaster with the bones. Save it, man. Don't pitch it. And then whatever doesn't get done after that goes to the chickens. Nothing goes to waste on the homestead. Not much, anyway. We do our best, most do, to make sure that we preserve every little bit. Okay, this jar is just about ready. I kind of give it a good pack down as much as I can because this is going to shrink just like anything else that you can. Maybe room for a little bit more. If I get up towards the top, I do pop the little seed heads out. Just my personal taste. You can leave them in. It doesn't hurt anything. I'm not sure. Whoop! I'm not sure how many more I've got. Just so many different pretty colors. You can do this with hot banana peppers. Um, I do something pretty similar with my jalapeno. I may not put as much seasoning in there because I want them really simple. I also make a candied jalapeno that most people have heard of called cowboy candy. I've already made my cowboy candy for this year. Oh, that one's not real great. So I don't have a video of it for now unless I come across more jalapenos that probably won't in the near future. But I can always do it for you next year, Lord willing. It actually smells really good. My children will not eat banana peppers. Picky for farm kids, ain't they? Or country kids. Back at it. All right. A few more. I've got my brine here next to me. That one's kind of yucky on the end. If you have a yucky spot, don't put that in with what you're putting into your broth. This is a wide mouth jar, so I'm not using a funnel. It's kind of cool. I'll cut the end off of it, though. Some of these have been in the fridge for a hot minute. These are extras that I had, not from this weekend. I promise I don't hoard peppers. I was just blessed. Blessings are good. You can use these on, some people make what they call a Mississippi pot roast. You put these on. I think they're really good with a burger. I like them anytime I make like a BLT wrap, sandwiches, you know, the deli kind. I just like them. Good stuff and good for you. Uh, 
soon as this brine gets warm enough, it seems to be taking its time this morning. Clean ladle. Push these peppers over. Since I'm waiting on my brine, I'll give it just a minute and we'll start filling them and getting them ready for the canner. Brine is finally good and warm. I did somehow manage to get all 12 pints filled. I didn't think I'd have enough and I did. Make sure your jars are clean. I'm sure I told you at the beginning. All your utensils are clean. I've got my canner warming up, warming up in the background. And this is finally warm. There's just a little bit of bubbles. Clean lids and rings. Use a funnel. And I do have a clean towel right here in case I need it. We're just gonna kind of set this here. And carefully pour it in over our peppers. I hope I have enough broth. I might have to do a second batch because I ended up doing better than I thought I would. I'm not complaining. That's a good thing. I'm not even going to use a funnel for this one now. Now that I said that, I'll probably make a mess. But I've got them smashed down as good as I can. Like I said, they will shrink. You can water bath these between the brine and the salt. It's preserved fine. all the way up. If you have a few that want to float before they're processed, no worries. That's not a problem at all. They'll settle in. Got a couple here trying to poke out the top. Get a little more brine. Okay. I'm so excited to have this. I have a few from last year. But my pepper yield was a total failure this year. So if it had not been for my good neighbors and my friends at the farmer's market, I would have had no peppers to pickle. No cowboy candy. If I have enough jalapenos after I pickle them, because I don't need very many, I might do a sweet jalapeno jam. It's pretty good. I know a lot of people like to put it over cream cheese. And yes, this funnel's just sitting up top. It's just to keep me from spilling all over my stove. Definitely gonna have to make more brine. Surprise, surprise. Let's see how I can spill it now. <laughs> see how good I can do. It wouldn't be the first time and it won't be the last I spill something. Sometimes when you use garlic in pickling and even fermenting, the garlic turns blue. It's okay. Don't panic. All right, we're going to get more brine in these. I'm going to get them all capped off, and then we'll start water bathing. I moved it down so you can see a little better. My head's going to be cut off. It is what it is. Okay, everything's ready to go. Canner's warming up. They're not super, super hot. I mean, they're plenty good and warm, but aren't they pretty? Look how pretty. Anyhow, we're going to load them up. I'm going to put this wide mouth one right in the middle. Three jars left over. I figured. Two, four, six, eight, nine. We're gonna drop it in carefully. Nice and slow. The jars are warm, so they should not bust. Make sure you have a couple inches of water over your jars. You do not want it, the water level to go below the top of your jars. I have one jar here that's kind of leaning. All right, she's on, she's ready to go. Once this begins a rolling boil, I'm going to process this in the canner for 20 minutes, and then I'll be back with you. 
Canners finally calmed down. I told you the wrong time. It's 10 minutes in a water bath, not 20. I'm going to have my girl who does my editing make sure to put it up when I say that so I don't mess anybody up. But it's 10 minutes, not 20. While I was waiting on the canner, I went ahead and processed some jalapenos for the next round. <clears throat> All I'm going to do right now is open her up away from my face. Feel that steam cutting loose. And I'm going to give it a few more minutes. I see some bubbling from the jars, and then I'll pull them out. I think we're good. I think it's ready to pull. If you hear coughing in the background, it's because we're all choking over these super hot jalapenos. Not only did I slice these and put these in jars, but I have some caps boiling back here in the background. Oh my goodness, every one of us started coughing. So if you hear that, it's just jalapeno. That's all. All right. I actually don't need my oven mitt. I need my jar lifter. <clears throat> Let's see how they look. Looks good. Woo One of my favorites. I'll set it over here. And as I said, water bath 10 minutes, not 20. It's best to let them sit for, I usually do 12 hours or so because of my space limitations here, but up to 21 hours to so just sit and not be moved. You may want to wait <clears throat> about a month before you try them because the longer that it gets to sit and all the flavors marry and they get the pickle in it, the better they are. They sure are pretty. And this is why you stuff them. You want to stuff it as full as you can because of the shrinkage. It all worked out well. If you only lightly pack them, you may end up with half a jar or two-thirds of a jar. But as you can see, they're good and full. Love the color. Yum, yum, yum. Look at that. See, I have a little bit of liquid on the bottom, so that one wasn't quite as full as the rest, but still good. Still good. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Whew, those jalapenos are getting me. I'm trying to be strong, y'all. Trying. <laughs> Jesse boy's over here off to the side. He's <coughs> speaking it. They might 2319 us, huh? If you've ever seen Monsters Incorporated, you know that reference. 2319. We get caught coughing. All right, so that's <coughs> all there is to it. I hope you learned something if you didn't already know. Um, there's lots of good ways to use them. My dad will use them with beans and cornbread. Um, he mixes them with his eggs for breakfast. I mean, there's just so many different ways to use them. They're good. They're certainly worth keeping. And we got the last peppers of the year thanks to our friends and neighbors, right? Mm -hmm. You want to send us out so we can go ahead and start the jalapenos? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Psalms 34, verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Have a great day on the homestead. Do what you can right where you are. Bye.